Welcome up at night. Hey, what's up, everybody? We just saw Deadpool. And to um, tell you now, this is spoiler-free. Spoiler-free video, so for those of you who haven't seen it yet, this is the one you can watch. Uh, if you don't want to get anything spoiled for you, we're just going to give our general impressions for the movie, what we liked, what we didn't like. Um, and there's going to be a video directly after this one, which will be a full spoiler video that you You've can been watch. Warned. And yeah, you well, this is the good one, so you don't have to be warned about anything. Well, this is the... N- other one, the one that you don't have to worry about. Anyway, they're Which both going to be it? good. Watch both of them. Um, <laughs> spoiler free. This is spoiler free. So I loved it. I mean, yes. like just to start it off, like it was everything, everything and more. Yeah, everything I wanted from a Deadpool movie. Like I, I can't believe how well they nailed this movie. Um, I think Ryan, Ryan Reynolds, Reynolds is, to thank, is to thank for that. Yeah, he he is that character. And like I can't like you and I were talking just after we saw the movie about the fact that like. Nolan North nailed it as the voice character, and like I said, I liked him more so as the voice, just because of the fact that he he does the the, the secondary and the the tertiary voices as his, the voices in his head. Yeah, the Deadpool character has multiple characters. Yeah, multiple voices running in around his head. In his head so, um, but like I said, like as far as a um, as far as like a live action film goes, like Ryan Reynolds was Deadpool. He was. Perfect. Well, I said that right after we left the theater. I'm like, I don't think there could be another actor out there right yeah, now that all. I could see doing it other than Ryan Reynolds after no, seeing that. it's so true. He is the Robert Downey Jr. of this character. Yeah, you're right. You're very right. You you're, you nailed it on the head there, or you hit the nail on the head there. Like, like, like you said, as far as like Tony Stark and like, like, yeah, Robert Downey Jr. nailing that character. This is Ryan Reynolds' role, and like, I am so excited to see him play this character in this other opens movies. Up it was so well done and so well executed. Oh it's going to open up so many more doors for this franchise. It and really will, really will. Yeah, I really think it will too. It's going to be, it's going to be one of those things where we're going to see a lot more. I think of this character for now, sure. Starting with the cast, we have Ryan Reynolds. We talked about him. Yeah, and oh my god, you know what? I want to give a really good nod to. Um, I'm going to name fuck up her name. It's Morena Bakarin or Bakarin or something like that. She's from Firefly, the chick that played his girlfriend. Oh, okay. Um. Oh my god, she was amazing. Like oh, I just they did well with those female characters. Oh my god, yeah, all the female characters in this movie were fucking awesome. But like I just want to give a good like shout out to her first and foremost because like you know, like I, I didn't know how they were going to do the um the backstory for him. I like the way they did it. And I like that. Yeah, I didn't know how like how much we were going to like like the whole romance or the whole backstory portion of it because, you know, superhero movies tend to lack when it like they suck a little bit when or you're like Or they change it or they just Yeah, or like you know what? His his backstory was actually pretty much perfect as far as they I can remember. They changed a few things. We won't ruin it. Watch yeah. that video. But um it was pretty much perfect from what I remembered. Like it was pretty spot on. But like the whole love story thing didn't ruin anything for me. Like I said, she was amazing. The and, movie like, flowed well too where they would you go back and jump forth. back and yeah. forth between like here's what's going on now and that's the thing I liked it didn't go in order of like okay here's he here's he like here's him doing like you know getting the cancer and here's him getting like you know that would have slowed the movie it would have slowed so the movie bad. down I like the fact that it started off into action scenes into him being Deadpool right away and then like him like looking at the camera and being like I bet you're wondering how like and by the way the fourth wall breaking in this movie is fantastic it was everything I wanted it to be Oh my god! But yeah, sorry. Another I'm, cast member I'd like to to really say did a good job was um his friend, his best friend. You see him in the oh, commercial. Yeah. He's acted in some other movies like She's Out of My League. I think he was in other. Movies, he's fantastic. Yeah, he's in those commercials lately. He's in a bunch of like commercials. I gotta look his name up. Yeah, keep, yeah, he, yeah. Um, <laughs> you would have seen him in the trailers talking about how his face looks like a, a, a an avocado, avocado fucked an ugly or avocado. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, He's just so good, and he's yeah, like, he's the absolutely. worst friend. I, I, I oh, and talk. that's the best part is like he is like he's a great character, and yeah, exactly that. He's a terrible friend, and I love that every second of it. But he's the like, friend Deadpool deserves. Yeah, exactly. He's the friend Deadpool deserves because Deadpool's such a piece of shit. Um, and they don't they don't forget about that. T.J. Miller is the actor's name. And he's fantastic. They didn't. They didn't take away from the fact that Deadpool is a piece of shit. He's not a hero. They yeah, make he's him not a hero. He keeps yeah. They every time of, someone tries to call him a hero, and he's like, "Fuck you, I'm not." His name's Weasel, by the way. The character's name is Weasel. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I loved that. Um, Don't he spoil was... that other character we saw. Oh yeah, no, no. I'm not going to spoil him. Yet. <laughs> well, that's just. I mean, that's not spoiling. That's just his name in the movie. Check out our other video and you um, find out who he was. Exactly. There's there's a surprise. There's some surprises in this movie. They really got me. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, he was fantastic. I mean, Colossus. The, Colossus was great. Um, even uh, uh, let me see if I get this right. Uh, what is it? Supersonic something. It was warhead. like no, no. It was Nega Teenage Supersonic Warhead, warhead or something, something like that. She's I love the, the fucking name. I like how he was just like that is awesome. Like, like he could have went two ways. He could have went like yeah, that yeah. Was a stupid name. But yeah, like, or no, like what the that fuck is fucking awesome. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> 
And she played a great character too. She played like a super sassy teenager and stuff like that. And like, yeah, his 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 like reactions with her. I'm just watching this thing about to go. The lighting, sorry. <laughs> it's like slowly shifting. Anyway, we have a pristine setup of. Oh, it's uh, amazing! Paper you should see it. Together Shh, don't give away the secrets. It's we have a, we work in a studio. Um, it's super. We have executives and higher ups and producers. Anyway, um, uh, even the chick from the the MMA, like the UFC, uh, I forget her name, but uh, Carla something. Like I was saying, um, she played a good villain. Going into Deadpool, I was thinking, oh, this movie is going to be um, pretty sexist, right? And you the, think, the, uh, in a bit, in a sense, right? Because they have a lot of the like the the R-rated stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. like, I wonder how they're going to represent these female characters. So you get into the movie, they represented them. Oh well. yeah, it's they're like said, strong. They're but they're stronger than Deadpool. Half oh the yeah, time. half yeah. the time. Yeah, and I loved the fact that um, when they were doing like the flashbacks to his romance with um, with his girlfriend there, the character there, like she was perfect. She nailed it. Like, I love how she was just as witty as, like, Deadpool was. Like, the whole thing was, like, she was just, like, on the same level as him And the we'll whole go time. into detail with that. Yeah, we will, for video, sure. But, but, like, that's why I said, like, I got to really give a nod to to Marina Bacarin, or I, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'm sorry. Don't worry. I don't um, have store names in my head. Um, I'm, it's like IMDb up here. Um, Fuck but Tony, you're supposed to know this. Yeah, exactly. You make me look like an idiot. Uh, but, like, yeah, like I said, I thought she did great. The only thing I will say is I thought the villain Ajax was kind of forgettable. Yeah. Like, he played a good character as far as you, like, not him. liking him because he played kind of, like, a very douchey, like, you know, character. and like He, he could have been more memorable. I mean, yeah, and that's the thing. I, I guess the problem really just is that, like, yeah. They, you could have hired any bald British guy to play that. <laughs> yeah. I would have rather like, Jason Statham did it because that would have been oh, that amazing. that would have been awesome. But like I said, like, you do you do dislike the character because yeah, the actor did a good enough job. He plays you, his role. Yeah, he plays his role that you, like, you, you doesn't dislike doesn't take away him. from the movie in any sense. Um, no, and it doesn't really. I just, like I said, I just felt like it was kind of, not anticlimactic, but I didn't find, like, the villain was, like, that much of a You don't enjoy threat. seeing him on screen. You no, and that's a thing. Like, I guess that's true. Um... But, like, that's probably the only thing I could really complain about. Like I said, like... Costume design. The costume was right on. Fucking right on. Um, All the characters look good. Like, Colossus looked great. So did um, even, like... What's her name? The super... Warhead, teenage, whatever. Yeah, fucking. Even their apart, like his apartment building or where he lives. Oh, it looks so, so shitty like, so and like shitty and it's right perfect. Up. Oh, the uh, the old blind woman that he lives with. That was hilarious. I love that. She's it. from the comic books. They did so many good nods, like so many good things that you'd think that like most movies would forget. Like like whenever you're like, oh, they didn't have this or they didn't have that. Like in this movie, it's like, oh my god, they had this. Oh my god, they had that. Like, <laughs> yeah. are you fucking kidding me? Like they they made mention to that thing. Oh my god, that's so fucking. It good. really. I gotta say this. It puts the other. Avenger movies to shame and I was saying this before oh, yeah. where it's like they've done Deadpool so right to the comic books and they've done nothing wrong and that that's it's like, it yeah. what are you doing guys you yeah and that's like the thing that gets, and that's the thing that gets me the most you're right is the fact that the other comic book movies aren't nailing it like this they're like, taking themselves too seriously sometimes. yeah and that's the thing is like I th- maybe maybe Deadpool just lends itself to being a movie perfectly because of the fact that they can really throw in some of the stupid bullshit because like yeah, sometimes maybe some of the campy stuff from comic books can be a little weird, but like it, I guess maybe it just works really well with like Deadpool because of the fact that he's Deadpool. He can um, break the fourth wall to explain things too, and that's a nice, big yeah. thing too. Like I said, that was one thing that I was really worried they weren't going to do was was him like turn to the camera and be like, "Hey, I'm Deadpool. What's going on?" And like, it always gets very serious, and they take you away from it, and you're like, "Oh, this is getting really dark and emotional," and then it's like right back in. You're like, "Okay, yeah, cool. okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah." Especially you're right, like especially the parts it's like where two it's two parallel movies working together that are both good. Yeah, I know. And they keep kind of going together. Well, you're very right because I mean, Deadpool's past is very dark. It's it's it, it, like he does have one of the like darker. I'm more... not trying to touch this. I'm just... You're just you're just like hovering your hand. Look, around. it looks like me. Look, look. Same with that I one. I think he is implying that this looks like me. Dude, orcs are cool. My jaw. Anyway, orcs are cool. Um, <laughs> you fucking. What was I talking about? Deadpool. See you next episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I fucking hate I'll you. I'll cut Mujin, it out. Really. Don't worry Mujin, about it. No, no. Leave this in there. This Mujin, is this movie is magic. Great. Movie magic. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that was what we were talking about. The fact that yeah, like his his backstory is fucking dark. Dark. Yep. Like he goes through some pretty horrible shit. And they joke about it. And too. they do, but like it's like I said, like it, it is it is kind of one of those things that like you you do see like how dark and fucked up he got, and that's kind of why he's so crazy and fucked up. Like it turns into like it it turns into more hilarity later on, but like it also explains how he can deal with a lot of the things he does as a as an anti hero. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? and I'll explain in more detail when we do our other video, but 
Yeah, uh, no, you're right. I almost wish, sure. like, should we just move on to the next video now? I think we should. I think you people, like, I think... Uh, Go watch as, it. Yeah, I was going to say, as an audience, you probably understand that we fucking loved it. Like I said, great characters. The only don't take your kids to watch it. Oh, they yeah, this is not a kid's movie. This is not a kid's movie. There's, there's a reason why they rated it R. I mean, it's it's got everything in it. Um, you even get to see... Uh, you're going to see boobs. And Ryan Randall's penis. I want to talk about that, too. Oh, yeah. Because when they showed the... Yeah. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, uh, subscribe, like, 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 don't forget to do those things. Um, and if you get to see the movie, check out the next video, the, uh, the spoiler cast, because, uh, we're gonna get into way, way more more details, uh, about the movie with that one. Um, once again, go see Deadpool if you haven't seen it yet. It's fucking phenomenal.